gratitude, consistency, self accountability, focus, self determination, physical posture, and positive thinking, yoga, and meditation. You may be familiar with these terminologies used for personal development. Americans, corporates such as Facebook, Google, Apple, Target, and many others spend annually more than 1.9 billion over personal developments of their employees. It means global organizations spend a huge budget on development of employees' focus, self accountability, centralization, self determination to increase individual productivity. Many other conducts seminars, exhibition, training sessions, and work parties for social networking. And furthermore, several other institutions voluntarily have settings around the globe where people spend days, months, and years in self-correctness and focus development through meditation, Pilates, and yoga practices. You will be surprised to know that unique feature in the world's second largest religion, Islam, that ticks these all boxes, what I have mentioned for personal development, and this unique feature calls Salat. Now, what is Salat? Salat is a mandatory practice in the religion of Islam. Every Muslim has obligation to go to mosque and surrender together in front of Allah called God. Spend approximately 5 minutes in 5 different sessions every day. If one does not have access to mosque, this practice session can be conducted at present location. There is no exemption, even one gets sick. Let me explain you how this practice covers all the points mentioned in personal development. This prayer cycle divided into five different sessions. It is a combination of spiritual connection with God, meditation, yoga, and Pilates. Technically, this prayer cycle started from evening prayer, but I will start from the first prayer of the day, called Salatul Fajr, mean daybreak prayer. It means wake up early mornings, give more energy boost to focus on one daily goals. God wants one to start day with seeking his help to achieve routine goals. Which is why this is the God most favored pray since other are sleep. Exactly like this, researchers say one of the common habits in all successful people throughout the world is they all get up early morning. Dohar is the second prey of the day. It begins after the sun reach its zenith. Time to connect with the God again. One can cheer progress of the day and exert more effort by seeking Allah's help. The third practice time is before evening, called Asr. This is the time for contemplation, pondering all the way sunrise to sunset self-activities. This is the most relaxed prey. One exerts full effort, achieving by some accomplished and unaccomplished goals. One has to share again whole day progress with the Allah by admitting personal weaknesses and glorifying power. Fourth day time starts straight away after sunset called Maghrib. Time is full of reflection, anticlimax of life, shine to dark, difficulty to ease. Every soul has to taste to death. Full energy has to drain. This is a time not to lose hope, understand the reality of everything, more or less, it is self-accountability time. 
लास्ट प्रोए ईशा बिफोर गो टू बेड टाइम टू रिफ्लेक्स डेली प्लान रिग्रेट एंड रिपेंट ऑन रोंग डूइंग्स कमिट नॉट टू रिपीट मिस्टेक्स revamp yourself realize your weakness and admit the power of god forgive everyone and plan your next day just imagine if one plan every day with full of commitment and consistency like this surrender to god and admit weakness and make self accountable for every action you will be amazed to see the results level of positivity to contentment and focus to determination and physical fitness is a bonus one of the most conspicuous aspect of this practice on forgetting it is highly recommended to pray in the mosque together this is the most significant form of social networking when you see face to face each other five times a day people positioning themselves in a line at equal level without any discrimination people status color race and backgrounds no superior to god unless faithful how beautiful is that the whole concept seems to make one good human being means self development see you in my next video